Hello, and welcome back to Portal 2. I'm your host, Big E3618, or Kyle if you prefer. And when we last left off, let's see. Gladys was a potato, or potatoes, and Wheatley betrayed us. No real, no real big shock there. Anyway, let's continue. I believe we were... Falling. Hello? Oh, hey, potatoes. Aww. Adorable. How are you falling faster than me? How how are you falling faster? It made sense. Much of a change, huh? <laughs> Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case this pet isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. Actually, I'm glad I have them because. Can I grab you? Potatoes! Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that happened. Oh, Aperture Science Innovators. That's pretty cool. It's not the regular logo. I like it. It's pretty cool. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know that's very, very cut uh, an intro. Uh, when this goes up, uh, it'll be the day after Thanksgiving, or <laughs> day after St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you all, you know, had fun responsibly. Potatoes. Uh, no! Oh, oh. What the hell? Oh yeah, I got a new mouse, so I can actually scroll in now. Because <laughs> the last one I had uh, didn't really work. So, um, yeah. In this episode, we'll talk about forgiveness. <laughs> well, not necessarily, not really, but... um, I, um... <clears throat> let's say I was actually... Just today, I put in a situation where I had to decide um, on forgiveness. I'm not going to get into details, but let's just say uh, someone messed up. Someone who was very important to me messed up a like, huge Holy shit, that's big. Huge amount. And they kind of want me to forgive them. And I have to make that decision. Now, I know it's hard. I think it's the right way. Um, is there way over there? No. Wait, maybe? Yep. No. Um, I have to make the decision. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be difficult. Or, I mean, it's going to be difficult. It's never easy to forgive someone once they hurt you. And I guess in a very um, topical point, GLaDOS is now, now that she's not in a position of power, she wants my help. I think it's funny. Uh, but yeah, no. It, forgive me. It, it's a person. and it, Even if you can't find it in your heart to forgive someone, that, that's okay. It's it's a personal decision. Everyone's different. But, um, yeah. Uh, at the very least, you can't let them continue to hurt you. Because at the end of the day, you're what's most important. Did I go up there? No. Ooh, this eerie music. Did I go over there? No. Did I go over there? No. Guess not. Oh, did I go up there? No. Up there? No. Over there? No. Dang, where'd I go? Okay. We have this. So look close. Wait, I came from over there, right? So. Huh. Um. Am I just really, really dense? I'm not seeing it. 
Oh, do I go over there? Oh, do I just jump down? I think I do. Woo! Oh, not over here. Wait, over here maybe? Yes. No. No. Okay. No, I'm still a ding dong. But yeah, I know. At the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. If that means not forgiving the person, then you know you can't do it. I'm I, I'm still deciding because uh, you know it's um, <clears throat> it's not easy. It's never easy. There, hello, is that over there? Is there a portable surface? Hello, I want any bastards. Oh, wait, was that? Wait, oh, you're trying to tell me to zoom. Oh, up there. Haha. -ha. I'm not an idiot. I hope. Oh, and then you just zoop over, right? Oh, wait, up there. Yours. Whoa, 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 whoa. You saw it, right? That momentary flash? That was kind of spooky. <laughs> And then, of course, there's gonna be another one over there. Convenience! Warning. This enrichment, this enrichment shaft, <laughs> sorry, may contain unsafe quantities of cosmic ray spallation elements. Ooh. Cosmic rays are always, like, spooky. Interesting, because we don't really know, we don't even know the full extent of what they can do. Woo! Do not enter. Sucker, keep out. Keep out. I'm a rebel. Or I guess maybe an innovator, depending on how you want to look at it. Ooh. But yeah. On to funner topics. Um, I recently learned how light works. I, I know. I don't mean like oh, turning a switch on and you know blah 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 blah. No, I mean like literally how how light like as a thing works. Like it's like you get electrons moving back and forth, creating an EMP, or I guess an, e an EMW, an electromagnetic wave, and it's, then that's basically photons and light. It's pretty cool, and how like reflection works. Oh, it's just so cool. Like like once you learn like something that seems so rudimentary, but then you realize how. Um, how sophisticated and high. it's just really cool when you like you know how something works is that it is a portable surface okay making sure couldn't tell i think yeah i'm pretty sure wait no i know what to do okay it's supposed to be like this no Eh. go here and then over oh excuse you Supposed to be like this. Okay. It's blue. Blue. Okay, so it's gotta go like. Push the button. There we go. See? I am smart. Muy inteligente. I think that's how you say that. Um. Huh. Yeah. Learning is fun. It, like, not being forced to learn, but like learning on your own. Welcome to Fallout 5. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that was dumb. But, um. Yep. Oh. Seemed widely anticlimactic. Are there chairs? What? what? Aperture, please. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No, yeah, learning stuff on like of your own volition, it's always good. I mean, well, I, I've never really met someone who doesn't like to learn. Well, I could, I could name some, but I don't want to get political. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you have the option, I suggest learning. You know, whatever you want, really. I, I, I'm a big fan of like thinking about 
just just learning about theoretical physics because like freaking like objective reality and whatnot like Einstein whoo he had uh, he had some stuff he had some stuff in that noggin of his oh this is where we find the Borealis I remember this from Half Life Two episode two hello. Oh my. Wheatley. Bud. No, no. Don't do that. Right? This is where we're supposed to find the Borealis? I swore, right? Dang it. Oh, shoot. What the heck is that? Am I supposed to go that way? Like, can I go up, like, there? Can I shoot? No? Alright, we're fine. Fine, fine. Hey, come on. Ooh, exploration. Hello? Oh, sweet. <gasps> it's him. Me, me, me. <gasps> Caroline. Oh. I own the place. To science. Oh, wait—is this water? No. Okay. Whew. Well, this is enter, so I'm assuming I have to go over there. Hmm. Well. Um. Okay. I see that up there. I will go over here because science. Yes. Uh. Up. Oh, I know what I gotta do. That was. <laughs> it's all a matter of perspective. Okay. Oh, I'm. Uh. uh 3D space. Hup. Let's do this shit. I missed. God damn it. God damn it. Let's try that again. Why? Because science. I love that answer. Well, for most things, it because science is a is a fun answer. Why do you want to test this experiment? Science. Woo! Yes! Success! I'm awesome. <gasps> Thanks, Mr. Johnson. Oh. <laughs> You'll know when the test starts. All right, well, I mean, we had a fairly productive episode here. We fell for God knows how many meters, feet, whichever you prefer. And then we crashed through some stuff. Potatoes got stolen by a bird. And we met Cave Johnson and Caroline. And this ancient aperture uh, enrichment center of sorts. So... Thank you, car alarm outside. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time here. And as always, 
I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.